Hey everybody, Irish Guy GG, aka Jesse here. I am gonna be reading out of James. I'm gonna be reading James 5 7. Uh patience and suffering. Uh the farmer <clears throat> let me give you a little synopsis here. The farmer must wait patiently for his crops to grow. He cannot hurry the process, but he does not take the summer off and then hope all goes well in the fields. There's much work to do to ensure a good harvest. In the same way, we must wait patiently for Christ's return. We cannot make him come back any sooner, but while we wait, there is much work to do. To advance God's kingdom, both the farmer and the Christian must live by faith, looking toward the future reward for their labors. Do not live as if Christ will never come. Work faithfully to build this kingdom. The king will come when the time time is right. So, James 5, 7. Be patient then, brothers, until the Lord's coming. See how the farmer waits for the land to yield a valuable crop and how patient he is for the autumn and spring rains? You too, be patient and stand firm, because the Lord's coming is near. Don't grumble against each other, brothers, or you will be judged. The judge is standing at the door. Brothers, as an example of patience in the face of suffering, take the prophets who spoke in the name of the Lord. As you know, we consider blessed those who have persevered. You have heard of Job's perseverance and have seen what the Lord finally brought about. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. Above all, my brothers, do not swear, not by heaven or by earth or by anything else. Let your let your yes be yes and your no be no, or you will be condemned. Amen. James 5, 7. And a little bit further. But All right, we continue on. November 2nd, you guys. Wow. So, living with unresolved problems. It makes a difference to have friends who care if we hurt. For most of our problems, the solution is simple. We call on our sponsor, we pray, we work the steps, or we go to a meeting. But what about the situations where the burden is ongoing and there's no end in sight? Most of us know what it's like to live with a painful situation. A problem that isn't going to disappear. For some of us, the problem is incurable, life-threatening illness. Some of us have incorrigible children. Some of us find that our earnings simply don't cover our living expenses. Amen to that, huh? Some of us care for a chronically ill friend or a family member. Those of us who have ever had to live with an unresolved problem know the relief that comes when just talking about our problem with another recovering friend. We may get some comic relief. Our friends may commiserate or cry in sympathy. Whatever they do, they ease your burden somehow. They may not be able to solve our problem for us to take it away, our painful feelings. But just knowing that we are loved and cared about makes our problems bearable. We have, nef we have never to be alone with our pain again. Yeah, because we have God, absolutely. Just for today, those problems I can't resolve can be made bearable by talking to a friend. Today, I will call on someone who cares. And I second all this, you guys, and I just let you guys know that you, you have somebody that is always by our side and always listening and always cares to hear our prayers and our thoughts and our, our, our troubles, and that's God. That's Jesus Christ. Call on the Holy Spirit to come into your life and, 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 and have that conduit to God, uh, that open line of communication. It's, it's incredible what you can do through prayer. You earnestly pray, right? So, November 2nd. Wow. I have faith. That thing, that the thing that makes the world seem right. Wait a minute. I have faith. That thing that makes the world seem right. That thing that makes sense at last. That awareness of the divine principle in the universe which holds it all together and gives it unity and purpose and goodness and meaning. Life is no longer ashes in my mouth or bitter to the taste. It is all one glorious whole because God is holding it together. Faith that leap into the unknown, that venture into what lies beyond our ken. What that which brings untold rewards of peace and serenity. Amen. Have I faith? Question mark. Meditation for today. Keep yourself like an empty vessel for God to fill. Amen. Keep pouring out yourself to help others so that God can keep filling you up with his spirit. The more you give, the more you will have for yourself. God will see to it that you are kept filled as long as you are giving to others. But if you selfishly try to keep all for yourself, you are soon blocked off from God, your source of supply, and you will become stagnant. To be clear... A lake must have an inflow and an outflow. Exactly. Flow like a river. Prayer for today. I pray that I may keep pouring out that I, what that what I receive. I pray that I may keep the stream clear and flowing. Amen. Oh my gosh. I love this one, you guys. Let's say it again. I pray that I may keep pouring out what I receive. I pray that I may keep the stream clear and flowing. Hope you guys are all having a really good start to your week. Uh, sorry for yesterday. Uh, I guess I don't have to apologize. I got <clears throat> I got kind of busy and it got really late when I got home and uh, just ended up, didn't end up having time to, to to communicate and commiserate with you guys. But hey, here I am. It's Tuesday. We'll keep the ball rolling tomorrow and uh, more readings to come. All right. I uh, hope you guys are all well. If you need anything, 
Uh, again, if you guys know of anybody that needs a Bible or you yourself needs a Bible, please reach out. I would be more than happy to ship you a Christian study Bible. Uh, free of charge, no shipping, no nothing. Just let me know what you need and I'll get it to you. So uh, I love you guys. God bless.